Don Judd. They're up and pacing, going for the lead. Niatros at the rail. Denali on the outside with a rush. Treading time down along the rail, third. Tyler B, fourth. Racing fifth at the rail. As they race around the turn, storm damage. Up on the outside, Denali to take the lead. Niatros is second. Trenton time third. Tyler B, fourth. Storm damage is fifth. Tammy's man sixth at the rail. Racing seventh as the race down the back stretch. Tyrant. The race over to the quarter in 27 and 3. And Niatros and Clint Galbraith on the move on the outside to take the lead. Denali is second. Trenton time third. Tyler B, fourth. Storm damage is fifth. Racing six, Tammy's man. Tyrant goes to the outside, seventh. Treading the field as they pass the stand of the first time. Majestic low bell. Hits Niatros with the lead by two lengths. At the halfway mark in 57 seconds. As they race into the turn, Denali is second. On the move on the outside, Tyler B now third. Trenton time fourth. Storm damage is on the move on the outside. Now fifth. Majestic low bell six. Tyrant three wide. Now six. Now fifth on the outside. Down the back stretch. Nia Truss. Tyler B on the outside. Storm damage and Tyrant three wide. At the three Despite Galbraith's warning to the contrary, the huge crowd that ringed the, the small track, track believed Nia otherwise. Truss, they were sure that history Tyler was in the making second. as Storm the mighty Colt rounded the final third. bend and headed into the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Clint Galbraith looks over his shoulder. It's Nia Truss with the lead. Storm damage on the outside. Tyler B third. It's Nia Truss winning the little brown jug. Mile 154 and 4. A world's record. For Nia Truss, it was clearly a case of how to succeed without really trying. The horse that was not to set a record had set a record. One minute, 54 and four-fifths, as he thundered under the wire to become history's fastest pacer over a half-mile track. There was bedlam and joy, great joy, in the winner's circle, as celebrities like Ohio's Governor Jim Rhodes rushed to congratulate Clint Galbraith, Elsie Berger, and their powerful pacing machine. And kisses, all kinds of kisses, were the order of the moment. Before the season was out, Nia Tross would win the messenger stake at Roosevelt to clinch the pacing triple crown. He would score wins on both coasts of the nation, and he would earn nearly $2 million, easily outdistancing the thoroughbred star of stars, spectacular bid.